Yeah, so Matthias Inler is known in the Rust community to how a significant Rust great person <laughs> has contributed a lot. Uh, and how to review code is one of the new articles that he's written, and I'm, I'm excited to walk through it because there's some good ideas in this article. So Matthias says he's been reviewing other people's code for a while now. And you know, you're thinking about re reviewing code. We read more code these days than we write, especially with some generative coding. We'll have AIs like Claude and Opex. Uh, they will write code for us. And so we have to read that code. And more now than ever, we need to be reviewing and learning how to read code. And so that's kind of like important, an important aspect of our day-to-day -day lives. So like writing code is the most fun thing to do as a software engineer. And reading code is kind of considered more along the lines of tedious work. Uh, writing test for code is considered tedious work, but writing code is a lot more fun. Now with AI uh, and other things writing code for us, we're gonna be spending a lot more time reading code. So nowadays, Matthias spends around 50 to 70% of time reading code, reviewing code, which makes sense uh, because code is being written for us a lot. Um, and so what does Matthias says? Is he learned a thing or two about how to review code effectively um, and focus on different things than when started. Right, that makes a lot of sense. Um, when you, uh, as you progress as a software engineer um, and you read more code and you write more code, you kind of develop certain skills. All right, so uh, bad reviews are narrow in scope. So you can, you can uh, the worst possible review of code means that you just, you didn't read the code at all and then you gave it like a green check mark. <laughs> like the least beneficial. Uh, the focus on syntax style and manner is, here, here's, here's a, a worse version of code, uh, code review. If you just focus on the syntax and style, like um, you put a semicolon here versus a semicolon somewhere else, that is not really a great code review. You're just nitpicking at that point. It's nitpicking the minor issues instead of really the important part of the of code reading is maintainability and extensibility. You want to be able to make sure the code has a future because it's debt. This means code is debt to the organization. And so you have to make sure that you minimize that debt as much as possible. Uh, what does a good review look like? So a good review looks like uh, not only the changes, but what problems the changes solve. So when you when you write code and you apply changes to code, you need to figure out what those changes are and what the problems are. What future issues might arise and how to change how the change fits into the overall design of the system. So that's that's the best possible way that you can apply a review. And we'll walk through an example. I think there's an example lower down, which I think is really meaningful in, in the system.